Hello, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create your very first program using the Java programming language and the NetBeans internal developing environment. And um, NetBeans, the reason I'm choosing it is very simple to use and also is not um, as complicated as Eclipse, although Eclipse and NetBeans do share several, uh, several similarities. So the first thing we're going to do is go to File, New Project going to select a Java application. I'm uh, going to name our Java application. I'm going to do hello world. We want it to set it as the main project and we want to create a main class. We're just going to call hello world. All right. Right now we're just going to ignore test packages, libraries, and test libraries. The main thing we're concerned with is this hello world.java just get rid of this these comments all right now all Java code needs to be uh, encompassed in a class and in this case public class hello world and uh, classes will be explained a bit later but just know that you always have to include public class and then the name of the class which can be anything you want and this should also be the name of the uh, file because the file is hello world.java. Dot Java means um, Java code, not um, compiled code though. Java compiled code ready to be run uh, would be in a hello world.class file. Alright, now this little bit of code here is called the main, the main state and this is the main entry point for any application. Um, the application will always start to run from wherever the it, main statement is pointed to. Uh, the public basically means that um, anyone can access it. Uh, static void. You don't really have to concern yourself with this. You just know this. Uh, just copy and paste this wherever you want to uh, create uh, your applications. It's the main thing we're concerned with right here is um, compiling it and showing the result. So what we're actually going to do is we're just going to print something out to the console. And note that I did system dot out dot print line or print ln, and I opened a parenthesis since this is what is known as a method. We have to uh, provide the method with something, in which case we're providing it with a string, which is like any text. And in this case, we're providing it with hello world, and we make sure to end it with a semicolon, just to tell the uh, compiler that we're finished with that statement. And now in order to run this, we just click run main project. And we see in our output hello world is printed hello world. And we can do something like add hello world. And notice that if you um, actually don't include something like the semicolon, it will yell at you and say semicolon expected. So that's a great thing about Eclipse. It helps you a lot, or uh, NetBeans. It helps you out with a lot of things like that. See, printed it out. And just a few things to understand about Eclipse. Uh, this will show all the files, pretty much like the project and files thing. Uh, manager. Uh, this will show you any um, methods or variables or constants you might have in each of your classes and that's pretty much all you need to concern yourself with right now. Um, more detailed tutorials will come in the future, but this is just basically how to create your very first application using Java. Um, if you'd like to know anything more about Java and C Sharp, make sure to leave a comment on my video and make sure to subscribe to my channel. Also visit my website and my forums, which is in my description, and subscribe to my, or follow me on Twitter if you want, I don't really care. Uh, this is QuackWare signing out.